everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've just been sat down editing the footage that you're about to see. It really got me thinking about whether or not you could live a minimalist lifestyle as a large family. I guess I'm almost gonna answer my own question straight off by saying that I don't think that we, as in our family, can live a minimalist lifestyle by any stretch of the imagination. But what we can do is massively reduce the amount of stuff that we have. I won't say too much now because I go on to explain why and what I'm planning to do as the video goes on. But I wanted to pop on right at the beginning of the video and say that I'm planning to do a series of videos on how we are downsizing our lives. And by that I mean reducing the amount of clutter and stuff that we have in our home. If that's something that you would be interested to watch then please do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos. I'm hoping to do them weekly or certainly every other week if not weekly. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. So I'll let you watch the rest of the video now and see the reasons why I've made this decision and a bit more information about the whole thing. So I'm going on a bit of a journey over the next few weeks which sounds a little bit dramatic I guess but I think it really is going to be a big change for me and for my family. Basically we are moving house, it has come about very very quickly, it's not something we plan to do immediately but we are immediately pretty much moving house. Without going into masses and masses of detail the reason behind it is our long term plan as a couple as a family, when we first got married and started having children, was that Dan, who is a builder and has his own business, would eventually start buying properties, or we would start buying properties for him to do up, and either rent out or sell on as an investment, and just as, well, it's always been something that we intended to do. Obviously with the recession and all of that, that took a bit of a back seat, and this could end up being a really long story, so I'll try and keep it brief, but basically we've found ourselves very recently being an opportunity where we can move into a very nice rented property temporarily, sell our house and free up our equity within the house to enable us to buy a project to do up. We did have one project in mind when we first started this process but now that has unfortunately been sold to somebody else but it made us think is this something that we want to look into sooner rather than later and we decided to just keep going ahead with the move, move into the rented house which will give us a lot more space as a family, it's a lot bigger than the house we're currently in and free up our money from this house to start investing in property as we had always intended. So that's a very condensed version of why we're moving but because we're moving into a house that is currently empty we can move in as quickly as we want to really. So we just thought we can either do it now, literally right now, or we can wait till a little bit later on in the year or even next year but do you know what it's one of those things where we can do it now there's an opportunity available to us so we decided to jump on it and I just have everything crossed that we're making the right decision I think we are the kids are really excited about the new house that we're moving into it will be a rented house obviously but the landlord is very flexible about what we do with it so he's allowing us to do some bits and pieces to it we're only planning to be there for a year or two at the outside because we're actually moving on to somewhere else after that which is another episode of the story which I will fill you in on another day but the whole reason for this video today is that I am taking this opportunity to massively, massively downsize our lives in terms of clutter, stuff, toys, clothes, things that we just have lurking in every corner of our house. I mentioned it in my spring, what I'm doing um, to get ready for spring video from last week. I'm fed up of cupboards being full to bursting and stuff everywhere and not having a proper home for everything. So if you're into decluttering and organising and all things like that then do subscribe to my channel because there will be a ton of videos on this subject coming. I'm starting today with the playroom because it is the worst room. It is the dumping ground, it's the one room at the top of the house that we can close the door and forget what's going on up there. Marnie's just woken up from her nap, I can hear her shouting for me downstairs, so I'll have to wrap this up quickly. But I'm starting with the playroom, it's an absolute disaster zone, it's my worst nightmare in a room. So I'm starting there because I figure once I've cracked that, it's only going to get easier from there. These videos will be slightly different to sort of minimalism videos in the sense that I will be showing you what the room looks like when it's finished because I'm taking stuff out to move to another house. 
So hopefully it's still of interest to you. I'll show you what process I'm going through and I'm hoping that at the end of it all, I will have a list of tips or advice at least that I can share with you on what I've learnt over my massive decluttering mission. I'm not gonna say that I am strictly trying to become a minimalist because I am a realist and I have four kids we will never be living a minimalist lifestyle. But I want to reduce it to as little stuff and clutter as I possibly can within our lifestyle. So that will mean something different to different people. But for me, that means that I want everything that we have to be stuff that we need and will use and also stuff that has a home. I don't want little things floating around the place. I want everything to have a proper home so I can shut it all away and pretend it's not there. This room is out of control. It is literally just where the hell do I start? As this room is at the top of the house, as you can see, it just gets left for weeks and weeks and weeks until it looks like this. But a lot of this stuff doesn't get played with anymore. So what I'm gonna do is go through it, keep the things that I think Marnie will want as she gets older, Obviously all of Dylan's um, PlayStation bits and pieces will be packed away. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna try and get rid of a lot of this. And at the side of the day bed, we have a massive bag full of stuffed toys. It's time to get a serious grip on the toy situation. It has got out of hand. Okay, so this is where we got to. I've cleared all the shelves. I need to empty the doll's house of all the little bits so that can go in one lot. I haven't unplugged the PlayStation yet because I have no doubt that Dylan will want to play on that when he gets home from school. So I will leave all of that there and also, I know well, this one woke up which made the whole task a lot harder. Um, then I have the Simpsons Lego house which was probably the worst hundred and something pounds we've ever spent because now it's broken. So I've left that there for the kids to try and fix before we move it over. Then I have all of this boxed up, Dylan, boxed up rather. Dylan's gaming chair in the corner and all this stuff in bags and boxes. And everything else I've actually bagged up to go because... It was either stuff that I didn't think we wanted anymore or just broken old things to throw away. So here are the bits that we've got um, to keep so far. Excuse the old manky wooden floor. That's a area of the house we've never got around to doing. So um, I basically organized it all to move over to the other house. So I've got a box here, which is full of Merrin and Dylan and Aiden's old toys, which are now suitable for Marnie. So that's a box to go in Marnie's room. This is a box of Lego and most of it is in pieces. That is um, like different type of Lego, like that sort of, what do they call it? I can't remember, but the ones that are bigger pieces. And then we've got mostly broken up sets, which just upsets me so much, but there we go. So that's Lego. Um, one box of Lego. We have a giant box of Lego in Dylan's room as well. Then I've organised all the older books, which are Merrin's, either ones that she's done with and won't read again, but might be useful for Marnie. And some of Merrin's current books. Again, some more baby toys and baby books and just a few miscellaneous bits and pieces here. Then we have all of these books to sort through. I think on first sort of flick through as I was pulling them off the shelves, these are the ones I thought I'd probably want to keep. A lot of them I've already put to one side to um, to go. And then this, um, this crate here, I've got some shelves to go up in the new house. And this is a box full of small um, dolls and action figures and things like that, Shopkins. 
Um, got some Hello Kitty things in there. These are all the really, really small things I don't want Marnie to get her hands on um, because they are not suitable for her, but I want to keep for when she's a bit older. Most of these Aidan won't really be interested in, so I am keeping them for Marnie, really, and um, Aidan if he ever fancies it. And then in here are some of Merrin, again, some of Merrin's old things. We've got some headbands and jewellery and um, this is some like play makeup of hers, some pencils and then right at the bottom all of Merrin's Barbie dolls and Monster High dolls and all their outfits and things like that. That I'm going to keep for Marnie. So these will all go, I oh, can't close that now. So most of all that will go in cupboards and things ready for when Marnie is old enough to play with it which is still quite a few years away but I've whittled it down massively to things that I think she will actually want to keep and enjoy playing with and just the bits that were sentimental and I didn't want to throw away. So I have actually downsized that massively, we had a lot more than that a couple of hours ago. I've also bought a load of these bags which are zip up um, jumbo storage bags to move the kids toys and store the kids toys in the new house and in here is again toys for Marnie that Merrin has grown out of so we've got a load of Lala Loopsie dolls and accessories whoops and accessories at the bottom and a couple of bigger dolls that don't fit in those boxes again I've got rid of loads of this kind of thing today but this is just the stuff that Merrin really loved and I'm sure Marnie will too it's looking so much better now this stuff here, as I said earlier, is just the Simpsons house to rebuild. This old jelly bean factory is actually cracked, so that'll probably go in the bin, but I need to empty the coins out of it first. Then Dylan has been kindly collecting plates up here for a while, so they need to go downstairs. Dylan's video games I need to box up. Oh, and I was going to take these down as well for the boxes. These are the last couple of bits to go in the crates downstairs. So I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my decluttering series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!